everybody, good afternoon. So, to anyone who's new on my channel, my Instagram thing, this is not YouTube, but um, to anyone who's new on my Instagram account, who's following me, my name is Kayla, and better known as Artista K. I just wanted to make that clear for um, you know everyone who's new and following me. And today I'm gonna do a get ready with me. I'm gonna show you how I um, apply my makeup from step one to the last step, and I will give you um, a progress report will help how well the makeup stays on. Okay, so I'm gonna stop babbling and I'm gonna do the first step, which is always moisturize the skin. I'm gonna start off with the Kiehl's Ultra um, Facial Cream and the Avocado Eye Mask. Okay, so after I massage that into the skin, I'm going to go in and fill my brows with the Anastasia Pencil. I'm gonna skip that part because I don't wanna bore you guys. I mean, how interesting is it to really film someone filling their brows? Okay, now that I filled in my brows, I'm gonna prep the eyelids. I'm going to be using, um, <laughs> my baby's staring at me. <laughs> I'm gonna be using a concealer, NC20 by MAC. I wanna apply that all over the eyelids. So, as you guys can see, I'm just applying this all over the lid and on the side over here. Because I am gonna be concealing. And get in here. Right now, I am taking Saddle by MAC and I am applying it into the crease. This will be my transition shade. And going so I went with this shadow. This is a soft brown by MAC. And now, just going on top of that. Okay, tell me wait. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my baby's on my lap. And then I'm going in with Hoax. Folks or hoax, I don't know the name rubbed off by Mac and I'm applying that color into the crease So I want to have like a warm tone cool tone Transitional shade Sorry, she was dipping in a blush brush into black eyeshadow, you know, it's very dangerous <laughs> But um now I'm gonna take ore by Mac and it's a matte vanilla shade like a cream vanilla um I mean, there's only one version of vanilla, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna apply this all over the lid and get it as opaque as I can. Now I'm gonna go with cranberry on the outer corner of the eye, and um, that's gonna give me like a little pop of color. Now I'm taking Sketch by Mac, and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner again in a B shape, and I can't really record and show you guys because it's kind of hard. So I'm gonna try to, I'm um, showing you at least one. So I'm gonna take a flat definer brush by Sigma. I'm dipping it into Sketch, tapping off the excess. I'm gonna look up, just dabbing it on the outer corners. And then gently taking this into the crease and then blending it out with the same brush I used to blend out the cranberry. This is just an angled definer brush. I mean, tapered, angled, whatever brush. <laughs> For more impact, I'm actually gonna go in, dab this brush into the sketch color, and then go into my lid, I mean, crease, and blend it out. Once I have finished up with, not really finished, but blended out the crease, I'm gonna go again and just dab that same exact color and create like a little wing and then go again and blend it out the key is just to, it's honestly quite simple but um, once you get the hang of it you build up gradually building up the colors and then um, blending as much as you can that way it has like a very soft ingredient effect and I'm trying to get the most neatest most accurate line I actually do this I pull it and I just line it. It's actually quite easy, but very hard at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause for the eyes and I'm gonna continue with the face. I'm gonna put on the Professionals Matte Rescue Primer. Lately, my skin has been crazy oily because of this humid, hot weather. So I don't wanna um, sweat it out today. So I'm gonna, one thing I like about this primer, it's gel. It's a gel-like primer, so it's very cooling on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel tacky or sticky and I have the AC blowing on me so it's gonna dry pretty quick. 
while my face is drying up, I'm gonna be applying these Faux Mink Wispies by Ardell. I really wanted to pick up my favorite Kiss Lashes, but I was just not in my area, and I had to do with what is the best, the second best option. So what I did was I doubled up the lashes, as you guys can see. Probably could have stuck with one, but you know, you need some drama. And once these finish drying, I'm gonna curl them a little bit because I feel like they're too flat. I'm gonna curl. I'm letting it sit in the eye, and then I'm gonna press it up against the lash line. I feel like the hardest part is the inner corners because if it gets on the actual lid, I'm scared. So yeah, guys, I'm not crying. My nose is just red because the AC is like blowing on me. I'm for sure gonna get sick but it's just too hot without it so this is how it looks like with one lash on and this is how it looks like with two i don't know if you guys can see the difference let me look straight at the camera let me close my okay now i'm gonna apply the second one just putting the glue on it maybe i should apply two at the same time like stuck them together but whatever what i like to do is play around with it bend it around because i feel like these ones are too and then um let me see it's like so uncomfortable to sit this way let me see let me see let me see no it's not gonna work this way no it's not working out i'll be back i'm back so this is what it looks like i'm gonna need to redo the liner just to get it more darker but before i do that um i'm gonna go in with foundation and concealer so for today i will be using um should i use I think I'll go on Fenty. I love both. They work so well. And yeah, let's get to it. So, apply one pump, one pump. Oh! And I'm gonna go, I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna go in with a. Actually, scratch that. The Fenty was too light, and I think I needed more than two pumps. Maybe I'm not even gonna put on concealer because this is very strong, as you guys see. And I'm just gonna apply this all over the place. Place, not place. <laughs> Okay, so I did end up applying concealer because I just needed the extra coverage. And now I'm gonna go with my favorite chubby stick. I'm gonna apply, I got foundation all over me. I'm gonna apply this in the che on the cheekbone, on the jawline. And I'm gonna do it on the forehead and a little bit on the nose. Well, not a little bit, but a lot. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how I blend it out. Now I wanna show you guys the difference. This is one side contour, not contour, but bronze contour. And this is the other side. You guys clearly can see the difference. And I like this side more. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with the Cover FX Loose Setting Powder. I really have been enjoying this one. And hold on, I'm just looking at the thing. I'm just gonna um, pat this underneath my eyes. I mean this area. I'm trying to do it as neat as I can. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it right here. I like to put it in these areas. I actually saw the coolest video from like the 1920s, 30s, 40s about baking and I'm like, how cool. Maybe I can I can link it or something. I don't have that swipe up option, so I can't really show you, but maybe I'll post it on my Facebook. Okay. I'm not looking. So while that bake sets, I'm, I will line my waterline with the Anastasia Jetliner. Okay, fine, two more minutes. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with the the lighting is driving me crazy. It is so bright. I don't know why. It's like too bright. Okay. So I took sketch, flying it underneath my eyes, and just I'm gonna smudge it out. I'll get back to you. Okay, you're gonna hear my kids whining, but ignore that. So I'm taking Shima Shima by Makeup Geek and applying it to the inner corner and also the nose bridge. And just a little bit here. And then I'm gonna just take a clean brush and fluff it out. And then take, I took like a little dome brush. Again, taking Shima Shima on the other side. Applying it there. And then I forgot the, she forgot to apply highlighter on the brow bone. 
I'm applying it here. And then I'm going to blend it up. Blending. I'm using the bronzer by um, Too Faced. It's called Sun Bunny. I'm going to show it to you guys in a second. And I'm going to really bronze up the face. It's pretty good. I don't know why the lighting is like making it look so orange. But this is what the bronzer looks like. It's not as orange as it seems. I don't know why it's coming up so orange. But I think it's because the sun is like hitting my window directly. But... I will go to a different lighting. Oh, this looks too orange. Thank you. Hold on. I'm gonna stop with my makeup right here because I need to go um, feed the kids, yada yada, you know? And when I apply my lipstick, which is gonna be red, I will show you guys how I do it. I'm probably gonna use my Maybelline lipstick. I have a red one, it's awesome. But I'm probably gonna mix it up with like a darker burgundy color. So we'll see where it goes from there. But for now, I'm gonna go and hey guys so sorry I had to skip ahead finish everything I had to do for my lips I had a little bit of trouble of it with it I don't know why I kept on flaking off so I just took a red for my palette I don't know what color it is so I'm so sorry and don't ask and this is the complete look very simple very natural esque type of look and I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial for the day have a good one bye